guys and welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i like to do my fill-ins so yeah let's go ahead and get into it now as you can see i start by taking off the previous design but with this client she wanted it cut down she wanted to reduce the length on her set so that's what you can see me doing right here i'm asking her is it okay I'm just gonna measure them all, make sure they're all around the same length. But I'm gonna clean that up a little bit later. Y'all gonna see that. But yeah, I like to first take off the design. I hadn't even like pushed back the cuticle or anything yet. So that's just how I start. <laughs> so there's no right or wrong way as long as you get the results that you wanna get. Um, but making sure you stay having that same method every single time, like building up like the repetitiveness of it, if that makes sense. I can't really think of a word. Routine is the word. Yes, keeping up with the routine. But yes, as you can see here, after I cut down the nails, I just do like a rough file to make sure like there's no jagged edges or anything that can kind of poke me as I'm working but yes I did make sure that none of the nails were lifting either um, me pressing down on the nails in the beginning that was me making sure there was no lifting she had these nails for like over three weeks I think like two and a half three weeks and she had no lifting but she did lose a nail on her other hand so if you guys want to see how I take care of my repairs, you can keep on watching. But I will say on this video, I didn't show every single thing. This will be just how I do my fill-ins. dusted off now you're seeing me I'm actually working on that full shape of the nail at this point and making sure it's going to be structurally sound everything's going to be even across because we don't want no uneven nails that is ugly we don't do uneven nails or at least I try not to but yes at this point we're just cleaning up the shape and reason why I'm reshaping it right now and you're gonna see me filing even more i did a lot of filing because when you cut down a set that nail tends to be a little bit more bulky so you need to reduce the bulk on that so it can even out because you did take length off the set if that makes sense now you're gonna see me pretty much reshaping the nail and I love, 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 love reshaping my nails with my hand file. And the grit that I'm using is a uh, 80-80 grit. Now that is a very coarse, that's the coarsest grit that you can use. So yes, that's what I would recommend. Now, if you wanna use 180, that's on you, but you're gonna be there for a while filing because it's a finer grit hand file. And that does take a while because it is smoother. It's not as coarse. In the previous clip, you seen me measure up the nails and clip them to make sure they're matching and they're even. Because again, we don't want no uneven nails. Keep up. We don't want no uneven nails, okay? So after I did that, as you can see, I'm going in with my five and one drill bit. I do apologize because I didn't say it earlier, but yes, it is a five and one medium grit drill bit. I love this thing. It doesn't cut 
the at least when I use it I don't cut anyone because it is a safety bit so that doesn't mean you can't cut somebody with it but you know just be careful <laughs> it's a lot less likely with this bit in my opinion but yes I'm just making sure I'm filing everything down taking down that bulk once again because we did reduce the length and we want to make sure everything is even and it's not too fat we don't like no fat nails around here either okay but yes that's all we're gonna do now as you can see this is the nail that she did break so we're gonna uh, take down the bulk on that pretty much as much as possible because i'm gonna let that soak off and i don't want to take too long so all i did was get like the little foils that have the cotton already in them and i put acetone on it and just put her finger on that while I'm working on the rest of her hands. Now, if you want to see how I do a proper soak off, I do have a video already posted about that. So go ahead and check that out. But here in the next clip, you see this is when I get to pushing back the cuticle. This is when my prep is really starting to come into play. You make sure you, make sure you push that cuticle back as good as possible. Okay you don't want to have any lifting As you can see here, I am using my mandrill bit. It pretty much is just my sanding band for people who don't know what a mandrill bit is. is the thing you use for your sanding band pretty much. And this is a medium grit, medium to fine grit sanding band. Um, and sometimes I only use like the fine grit. I ran out of them, so I was using medium. <laughs> which is still fine. You just have to be very careful and not stay in one spot too long because that can cause rings of fire and that is not fun for your client. It can burn, it can hurt. And it'll leave an indentation in the natural nail. So you don't want to do that. So you got to keep it moving when you have these. Also, I have it on the lowest setting possible. Um, on my drill which i actually forgot the number but whatever drill you have and if you're doing prep or anything please have it on the lowest setting possible to kind of prevent any damage to the natural nail because you're only supposed to be taking off the shine not a bunch of layers <laughs> And as you can see here, I am using my Mia Secret dehydrator. And I'm going to go behind that with my Young Nails Protein Bun. So I actually used the de dry dehydrator twice. And I do the same thing with my Protein Bun. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh,
do have a bad habit of sometimes forgetting what color my clients use and I need to work on that that's why you see the different swatches <laughs> but don't mind that but anyway I do use small beads I start off with small kind of medium moisture beads something that's not too runny but also not too dry because I do want it to fall in place really easily so yes, also all that filing and prep that I did earlier, as you can see, my shape looks good. I won't really have to do too, too much when it comes to shaping her nails later on. It'll be like me going around her cuticles, make sure everything is sealed. And at that point, it's just buffing and then going on to the fun part of decor, design, whatever you want to call it. Also, another thing about me, I am not a one, two, or three bead method type of girl. Um, I use how many ever beads I feel like I need to use to make me comfortable. So don't feel bad if you're one of those people who can't get the perfect perfect application with one bead or two three beads however many just make sure your work comes out looking good it doesn't matter how you get there just make sure your work comes out looking good because that's all that really matters at the end of the day of course it's cool to be able to try to have all those little you know things about you that you know how to do but that also comes with time and Honey, just keep practicing. Don't think about it too much. No Drake. <laughs> but yeah, don't think about it too hard. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's just nails. It's supposed to be fun. And as you can see, my client talks so much with her hands. I love her though. Love her down for real, for real. She's so sweet. But yeah, she talks with her hands. You're going to get a lot of clients. If you already don't have clients. You're going to get a lot who talk with their hands. We talk with our hands as women. I noticed that. They say she get it from her mama. I'ma say you for a right. Body rude is unpolite. Don't be in a humble type. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go up tonight. I was in who she stepped right. I just wanna live in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top 
part of memory I've ever made in my life Permanent ecstasy The ladies of pimps tonight Living inside a dream Let's lay where the love is like I put that on my own mama On my foot I look fly I look good You can't touch my back But you could I look fly I look too good Put that on my own Somebody might ask, why didn't you nip her cuticles or anything like that? And the answer is, her cuticles were just fine. She didn't have anything that needed to be taken away or like nipped away. She's one of the people that actually moisturizes their hands quite a lot. And she naturally just has kind of damp fingers, like hands. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I didn't nip her cuticles or anything because they didn't need it. So don't think that every time you do a service, you have to do all those different steps every single time. You need to do it based off of clients' needs. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want after this club. Okay, you guys, so this concludes my fill in, pretty much my prep and application. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just please stay tuned. Let me know what you want to see from me. And of course, thank you so much for watching. And just click that subscribe button while you're here if you're new. And I will see y'all next time. Oh,